Here we have the Hexbug Nano Space Habitat range of sets. In this video I'm going to review the Nano Space Zipline Habitat set which is the box set in the middle. Everything you see on the table here is included in this set, including this Hexbug Nano Space Ranger, which has already got one of the backpacks on. I'm going to pop him in, turn him on, pop him in, just so he's buzzing around whilst we talk. There's a tower here on the left. On top of the tower, there's an ion cannon. Now he's already gone into the lift, so I'm going to lift that. There's an orange lift handle on both sides. If you pull it all the way up, it stays up, or you can let it drop down, which I've done because I want to see him do this again. As you can see, he did a hook on and drop down and fall off all automatically. He didn't need any interaction at all by me. So although I had to lift him up in the lift, the actual zip line himself, he does with the backpack. So I'm going to just do it again. This time I'm going to have the lift remain in the up position. Now I've done that deliberately just to explain that the back of the lift, of course, there's an entrance and I'll show that in another camera angle and it means that if he does happen to go in there or another hex bug nano because I'm gonna have more than one in this in a minute then he doesn't get trapped because I'm gonna have more than one in this in a minute then he doesn't get trapped but when the lift is in the down position absolutely he stays in there ready to go up to the upper floor, the upper and, floor then, and then automatically down the zip wire now down the far end you've got the gravity trainer system which he can actually clip into and couple into and he can do some spinning to get used to the zero G, but again, doesn't block anything. He's got a spinning paddle with information stickers that he can observe, absolutely free rain. And I'm gonna just pop in. There are three snap-on backpacks that allow the Hexbug Nano included in the Nano Space Set to actually work with the zip line. Just gonna quickly clip this on so it goes over and behind the neck, almost on around the neck and the shoulders of the Nano and until it's nice and level. And you can see there that it's totally level now. And you've now got a hook. Now, the good thing, this set includes three hooks in total. So you can quite quickly get other Hexbug Nanos, either from other Nano Space sets or some of the older original Hexbug Nanos, the ones as I like to call them, and get them to join in. So what we're gonna see in this video are a few of its buddies. Now I particularly like having this white Hexbug Nano because the backpack blends in and it looks like it really is part of the Hexbug Nano. But here we have three Hexbug Nanos all kitted out and I'm going to pop in a couple more of his buddies to join in and play. As you can see on the left there, didn't get stuck in the bottom of the lift. I've left the lift in the upper position. Now they've all got hooks so I'm going to be busy on the lift whilst these guys all take it in turns to go down the zip line. Now this can happen, one of the nanos has been pushed out and well you know that's part of the play he's now in zero g and floating around inside we've got a new nano v1 that wants to have a jump now that's quite clever he not only did he hook off but he also did a u-turn that isn't something that would normally happen and i'm sure you'll never see it again <laughs> so absolutely nothing obstructs them they can overteach each other on this corridor you'll see it as part of the video but when one loops down and is looping back that white bug would only listen to me come on guys there we go they can overtake on the corridor no no issue at all even the slightly wider i didn't lower the lift even with a slightly lower uh, wider clip wearing harness that they have so as you see three of them bustling around you get three clips now these clips are the same clips that you had with the original hex bug nano uh, zip line set so I could actually dig out some of the old clips from there put some more bugs in I can have even more however without a bit more track then these guys are going to just get in each other's way 
So as you can see, this is very much, the zip line set here is very much the space training system to get these guys ready for outer space and bigger missions. What I'm gonna do now is start adding extra bits of track. I've now extended the track by one more section. The zip wire is about as long and stretched as it can be. I'm gonna cheat and pop our nano nano inside to do the longer zip wire. And as you can see, quite happy. And I'm gonna just pop in a couple of more of his friends again with backpacks. I've left the lift down, so if I get another visitor to the lift, of course I will, uh, I will do that. And whilst they're buzzing around, I'm gonna change the track. Just to show you how easy it is, I can't obviously do that whilst they're all down this end. So as always, simple case of lifting and removing. Sure, I've got to cover up the bits I don't now want to have open, but I can quite quickly, even though there's Space Rangers are coming to have a nosy and quite quickly add track. I'm going to pop him back in play and quickly add track to expand the pieces, the sets, and have another. Perhaps I could have another iron cannon. I could even move the iron cannon from here, from the top of the tower to the bottom. I could then have perhaps somebody manning it down here. Okay, let's watch that zip line in action close up. There goes the Space Nano Ranger. Down, zip, and unhook. And he's already coming back for more. There's the Space Nano Ranger. Down, zip, and unhook. And he's already coming back for more. Now, if only the other guys would listen and watch and follow the leader on this. Perhaps they need some more training in the gravity trainer before they get the confidence to float zero G. I'm going to just force this, uh, <laughs> he really doesn't want to. I'm going to force one of these other guys, come on white or green. Let's go in the lift and up we go and see how easy that is. I think once they've done it a few times. And see how easy that is. I think once they've done it a few times they've got the confidence. And now it's turn for the white one. He's in the lift and Absolutely excellent. All three successful zip wire champions. Now let's get him into the gravity chamber. To use the gravity trainer, you need to get your nano upside down and the gravity trainer upside down. And again, you can see the clips that clip just behind the nano's neck again. So it's a little bit like popping on the actual climbing hooks. And the back doesn't so much clip as it kind of just slightly slots over the rubbery back. But once you've got it in gripped, you'll then find your Nano is free to spin and do some gravity training. And let's have this one go. Now, okay, it spins in both directions at the same time, so it's quite a clever system. So what I find is best if you actually spin the orange outer ring, the inner one kind of looks after itself. Now this doesn't spin particularly any better with them actually buzzing, so I'll have them buzzing just to show you. So it isn't able to actually spin itself by the buzzing and it does just make a bit more noise. So this isn't actually meant to be when they're on. It's very much a storage system and a general cosmic display system. Here we have a Hexbug Nano in its gravity trainer whilst its buddies are bustling around. As you can see, activating the information screen allows them to learn all about zero G and the effects that they're gonna have in low G, because obviously this isn't zero G, obviously they'll be floating around, but certainly it's low gravity because they're in space and or on the moon. I've got them on, on the moon. I think this is very much a moon-based type setup where these guys have got to get used to all kinds of challenges environments, both in the sets and on the surface of the moon. The zip line could be the rescue system. Perhaps this is just one of multiple moon bases. And you've got these guys having to come in to do rescue work. And this is the practice setup area. This is how they learn how to master the art of zip line, rescue, swoop in, rescue systems, 
and this zero G trainer is just part of that skill set. Setting up the zip wire, you need to find the correct straight piece of track, which has got this socket in it. A normal piece of track hasn't got that. Now you can't get this in the wrong way around, but you put the coiled zip wire, it's a sprung coil at the very bottom, holding this in place. You then extend out the zip wire to the very, very top of the tower, where again, you put it into its receiving socket. Again, push that in nice and firm, and you can already feel that the zip wire is nice and taut. We're we'll just cheat it a little bit. We'll pop the bug at the top, and as you can see, working perfectly. Now the zip wire itself can go longer, as I've shown you, but don't be surprised if you unhook the top. Be careful here. If your fingers are nearby, you could get a nasty little whip flash back. And there's the zip wire. So what do I think? What initially looks like just a new great space theme is much more than that. This is a complete overhaul of the track system there and the hex cells. Gone are the spirals, in come lifts. The zip line, same idea, but they've done it in a better kind of futuristic world set. I can see this as a training camp. This is really done, zip line, zero gravity, really great, much more detail. It's beautiful, the track details, there's the shading and there's patterns and the cells. It's, it's a lot more attractive than the older, plainer hex cells. And although they have moved the doors on each of the hex cells, so this is an older piece, the new sets don't rattle. And although I love the doors, the way they've implemented the new doors, as I'll show you in some of the other sets, is actually better. So this has actually got a lot more play elements. Things like the iron cannon. Okay, you might think, well, it swivels, it goes up and it goes down. But it immediately makes this a defendable space station on a hostile asteroid or moon base. This makes the zip line a rescue system for some miners on some outpost near Beetlejuice. And it's completely different. And that whole mindset really enhances the play. This set's great starter set. Being able to introduce your old hex bug nano bugs is great as well. All that stuff's gonna work fantastic. The new nano space habitat system gets a great big thumbs up from me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video review. Please feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Let me know whether you like this nano space range and whether you're gonna buy it or not buy it and why. I try to answer as many questions as possible that are left on my videos. 